Hey guys, it's the Metal Blade 5. Welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Last time, we reached the end of the Nehru Mining Facility and defeated Thousand Year Arachnid Moldarach. But there was an audio desync which I couldn't do anything about and I had to cut out the cutscene at the end of the Nehru Mining Facility. Basically what happens is Zelda and Impa are playing the harp to activate the gate of time. Girahim shows up and wrecks shit up. Zelda and Impa head for the gate of time. Impa destroys it and then Girahim threatens Link. That's basically it. And we were told by Impa to show the harp to the old woman in the sealed temple. Oh. First, here's Gorko. What? You made it inside? You mean to say there is a secret passage I did not know about? Why did you not tell me, bud? I was just about to give up and go home when I heard this huge crash. I rushed back to find out the way had been cleared. I'm going to explore inside. I have to go back to the sealed ground soon, so it looks like I'm going to be busy. But before we go to the sealed grounds, there are several side quests we can now do in Skyloft, which we will do in this episode, along with getting the goddess chest that I've unlocked. Over here by this island, which is shaped by a volcano, we want to go over the top and then drop down to get this ledge on the side where the goddess chest is. Got the heart metal. Hearts will appear more often as long as you're carrying this. If you're worried about running out of hearts while you're out adventuring, keep this with you. Over here on this island over here, there's a bombable wall. It's gonna be the blow up. And it will reveal the goddess chest that we need. When Link opens it. Open it, Link! We got silver rupees, we're whopping one. After spending the next three days in a mental ward on this island, which is located over here, we find the last goddess chest we can open right now. Give us a piece of heart! Our first side quest is in this house! In, in Skyloft, on the east side, we find this dusty house! And I still can't get over that silver rupee! Uh. Ah, Link, welcome. So here's the thing, Link. My house is terribly dirty, no shit. Pivot is always telling me to do some dusting around here, but I just can't bring myself to do it because I'm a lazy ass. That's why I wanted to, uh, wanted to ask you if you wouldn't mind cleaning it for me. I'll even pay you, Link. What's the point of paying if I'm not going to get anything from it? You will? Great! I knew you wouldn't leave me to sit in this dusty house, Link. Was that a room? You know, I don't even remember where we keep the crazy thing. What if we ever owned one? Most of the time, I just wait for a good strong wind to come along and blow the dust away. So look, I don't really care how you get the job done. I just want you to blow it all away from me. So I'll just leave you to it then. You need to use the gust bellows for this, which I don't really see how this helps because it's just gonna probably just blow all the dust to one part of the house. Plus, also it causes a lot of the the pots to fall off the shelves, which you know is just gonna cause more damage. Anyway, it's time for the Gus Bellows infomercial. So, this new Gus Bellows for $9.99 will, will let you gust all of your ha house and blow all the dust you want, particularly going to the house to make it look that corner look horrible. But the rest of the house will look perfectly fine. If you buy it now, you'll get a you'll get a free uh, you'll get a free uh, something involved. I don't know. I didn't look to read the script before this. It also blows off all those stupid pots that you never liked. Isn't that great? Anyway, just... Not much left to do now. A little bit of dust left. Oh, the windows. The windows. Why is it not working on the windows? Is there something I'm missing? 
There's no more dust in my home. Thank you, Link. You've right, my dear. Come over here and let me pay you. Mm. Thank you so much, Link. My home is sparkling clean again. It feels so much better when the place isn't under a blanket of dust. And you get five gratitude crystals from that. I can't let you go without your reward. Watch out, there's something big of them. Big money coming. BAM! 20 rupees. Which I don't need. If only I'd have known that there was 200 rupees in that chest, then I could have been a millionaire, but no, it's the maximum. Anyway, over here by Bacho's house, since we now have 30 gratitude crystals. Oh, you got a quite a lot of gratitude crystals, haven't you? How magnificent! Please take this as token and token of this demon's deepest appreciation. Got the big wall, you carry it to... You have made some magnificent progress, cracking gratitude crystals. Please just continue helping me a little longer. No, I beg you, stop! That chest is not to be opened under any circumstance! There's something unspeakable inside. That chest contains the infamous evil of the dreaded cursed metal. If you carry that metal with you, you'll find more rubies than ever before. You'll even have better chance of discovering treasure. You, you, oh, don't make me say it. It gets worse, far, far worse. Any poor soul who holds that metal will find himself unable to open his pouch. No matter how badly you want to use your potions or shields, they'll be denied to you. Can you imagine a more gruesome fate? Please, push any follow this chest out of your mind forever! You must never think of it again. I'm feeling naughty. I think it was sent to the item check. Now in Beetle's item shop, we now have another additional adventure pouch slot. Which costs 600 rupees. Thank you! Now for the next side quest, you want this stamina potion that has now became available at the potion shop. Drinking it will make your stamina gauge decrease more slowly for a short time. It's a little price of all over it, selling for 50 rupees. Oh, Alright. I have to give up my heart potion for this. <laughs> now for this side quest, it's not Link who needs the stamina potion. Now, if you go to Fletch's room at the Night Academy at night, you'll see that he's trying to do push-ups. Five, six, seven... Oh, let me catch my breath. Hey, Link. Oh, what am I doing? I'm training. I can't even lift a single barrel. Pathetic, I know. That's why I want to get stronger. I'm a bit embarrassed about it, though, so I do it at night when no one's around to laugh at me. But it's not going so well. I'm just too tired. I was actually about ready to throw in the towel. <sighs> oh, Link. What have you got there? It's not... It's not a stamina potion, is it? I don't suppose you would mind letting me have that, would you? <sighs> really? Thank you. I owe you one. <laughs> <sighs> oh, yeah. I can feel my muscles perking back up already. <sighs> it's just that... At this rate, I don't know if I'll ever get strong and burly. <laughs> right, that's exactly what I needed to. No more whining. I need to push myself. Thank you, Link. I'll make you proud. You'll see. I'll be super bully in no time. Okay, back to training. Come back soon so I can show you the new me. So that's it for this episode. So, next time Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we'll actually go to the Sealed Temple and show the old woman the harp. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.